Here's your farm and ranch report from the Montana Ag Network. And good morning, friends. It's time for your farm and ranch news. Well, this week, nearly 400 Farmers Union members from across the nation, including right here in our region, we're back in Washington, D.C., taking part in the National Farmers Union's annual fall legislative fly-in. And one of those that was in our nation's capital was Montana Farmers Union President Alan Merrill out of that big sandy Montana country who told me that trade was a big priority this year. Instead of getting uh, disaster payments for the farmer or rancher, uh, we would like to have trade. We would like to have our markets work. So where we could market our uh, production off our uh, different farms and ranches instead of relying on the government because uh, when you go into the banker and you uh, rely on the government for a payment, they don't really pay any attention to that. So we'd like to have, we're trying to tell everybody up here on the hill that let's, uh, let's get back to farming with uh, good trade and uh, good overall around sound farm economy, if that's possible, instead of depending on government disaster payments. And he said another big key Farmers Union policy priority was addressing corporate consolidation within the U.S. agribusiness sector and restoring more market competition for livestock and commodities grown by U.S. family farmers and ranchers. Stay with us. We'll have more ag news right after this. Get ready for fall with this exclusive Cooper Tire offer only from Tirerama. Buy a set of qualifying Cooper Tires between September 9th and October 19th and receive up to a $100 rebate instantly. Choose from a wide selection of Cooper Tires, including the Discoverer SRX, ST Max, STT Pro, and AT3 line, as well as a highly rated CS5. Roll into fall with a new set of Coopers and an extra $100 in your pocket. Visit your neighborhood Tirerama or Tirerama.com today for more details. Roots, they anchor CHS to Montana. CHS is your partner for feed, for fuel, for agronomy, for grain. CHS is the largest agricultural cooperative in the world. CHS leads because our owners know this land and know how to make the most of this modern farming world. CHS is your cooperative. CHS, creating connections to empower agriculture. Well, Montana Congressman Greg Gianforte has urged U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer to advance provisions in a new trade deal with Japan that boosts Montana wheat. Congressman Gianforte wrote in a letter to Ambassador Lighthizer that this is a matter of urgency for Montana's farmers and an opportunity to maintain America's agriculture domination. Gianforte highlighted how Japan is still the top destination for Montana-grown wheat and also emphasized how a formal agreement will provide farmers with greater certainty as well as security against competition from others like Canada and Australia. In some other news this morning, according to the latest data from the Association of Equipment Manufacturers, August saw increases in U.S. sales of self-propelled combines and four-wheel drive tractors as well as total U.S. two-wheel drive tractor sales compared to August of a year ago. Now, U.S. four-wheel drive tractor sales increased over 19 percent last month compared to last year, and U.S. August self-propelled combine sales increased over 11 percent. Meanwhile, total U.S. sales of two-wheel drive tractors last month increased nearly 2 percent compared to August of last year. AEM's Kurt Blade says although the numbers are flat to positive for the year, they and the entire industry still remain cautious about the overall ag economy. And finally, the Nile Stock Show and Rodeo is just around the corner. This year's Nile runs October 12th through the 19th in Billings. And heads up to you livestock exhibitors. You just have a few more days left to get any breeding cattle or pin show entries submitted. All entries must be in the Nile office by 5 p.m. this Friday in order to be accepted. Now, the original deadline was back on the 4th of September. Entries, though, are still being accepted through this Friday with late fees of $25 per head. Again, for more details or to get those cattle entered online, all you have to do is visit thenile.org. That does it from the Ag Desk. Have a great day.